you can double the life of your water heater for about $28 and 10 to 15 minutes of your time. Water heaters contain a rod called a anode rod. It sacrifices itself to prevent the water from corroding the metal components inside your water heater, but they wear out. This particular model is a flexible design that has short sections of magnesium separated by stainless steel cable. This allows you to easily insert a longer anode rod into your water heater without having to worry about a ceiling height restriction. The only tools you'll likely need are a flat blade screwdriver, a high quality one and one sixteenth inch socket or a 27 millimeter. You'll want to get a six point if possible. That works much better at gripping the anode rod. You can either use a breaker bar or a long ratchet, or I like to use an impact gun. If your anode rod has been on there for a while, it can get pretty corroded and they can become pretty difficult to remove. If you're trying to use it with a, remove it with a breaker bar and you notice that your whole water heater begins to start to turn, make sure you stop. You don't want to twist your whole water heater around or you can start damaging the pipes around it. A good trick for that is you can take a ratchet strap and connect the ratchet strap together like this, forming a belt around the water heater. Once you tighten the belt down enough to grip the water heater, don't over tighten it, just enough to grip the water heater is sufficient. You can then use this handle as a point to pull against while you're pushing the racker bar. If you have a heavy duty enough impact wrench, you can often remove them without the need for the ratchet strap. Turn your water heater off. Place a bucket underneath your drain. Slowly open the drain. Be careful the water will be very hot. Turn off your water supply to your house. Once the water pressure has been relieved, you'll need to open up a vent to allow additional water to drain. You can do this by opening up a hot water faucet, or what I typically do is open up one of the fittings on my water softener unit, which happens to be right next to my water heater. You want to drain off about five gallons or so. Most water heaters, the anode rod is going to be on the top of your water heater. Mine had a plastic piece that must have got pretty hot at one point and it melted, but I was able to uh, pull this out and set it aside. This is the part you're looking for. Your 1 and 16 inch socket should fit down on it nice and snug. Back the old anode rod out. As you can see, this one was nearly completely eroded away. You definitely don't want to wait this long to replace them. This one was probably the one that came with the water heater. It has not been replaced for as long as we own the house, and the water heater was already here when we bought the house about four years ago. I am definitely overdue to replace this. You're going to want to put a few wraps of Teflon paint onto your you're going to want to put a few wraps of Teflon tape onto the new anode rod. The item that I ordered came with the tape, and I will link to that in my video description below. A good tip is to always wrap your Teflon tape in the same direction as the threads will turn when you're installing your new fitting. By doing it this way, when you're threading in the new part, you'll be turning it in the same direction as the wraps. That will prevent the Teflon tape from starting to unwrap on you as you are threading it in. It doesn't take too many wraps and the threads will cut through the Teflon tape to form a good electrical connection, which is required for an anode rod to do its job. Once your tape is installed, start threading your new anode rod down into the water heater. It's very important to get the anode rod lined up nice and straight as you're threading it in so that it does not cross thread. Sometimes that's easiest to do by placing the socket over it and using that as a guide to help straighten it out. And start out turning it by hand just to make sure that you get the threads going correctly. Once the new anode rod is completely tightened up and seated, we will slowly turn the water on and check everything for leaks. Carefully at first. And that's it. You just doubled the life of your water heater. You can find the Amazon links to the anode rod that I used as well as the tools in the video description below. If you liked this video, 
Please like and subscribe for more tips like this one.